Hey guys, thank you for joining me today at Completing Christ. As you can tell, I'm not in the studio where we usually film. Just been extremely, extremely busy. Been on the road a lot. Hadn't had the opportunity to go to the film room. Hoping to get back in there next week. Last Saturday, you saw a little video from Honduras where we'd gone down and built two more houses. Thank God. Praise God for the, his provision and for the opportunity to invest in people and to build homes for people that have absolutely nothing. Today, I want to get you, give you a quick word from the book of James. And I want to read you James chapter 1, uh, verse 22. Verse 22 simply says this. It says, Prove yourselves to be doers of the word, not merely hearers who delude themselves. I want to ask you a question. Are you a doer of the word? Do you hear it and apply it, or do you just hear it? You know, as followers of Jesus, we need... We need to spend time in God's Word. We need to spend time under the teaching of God's Word. And when God speaks to our heart, we need to take it and apply it to our life. We need to live out the truth of God's Word empowered by His presence in my life. So I have to ask my que myself a question often. Am I being a doer of the Word or am I simply just hearing the Word? You know, have, have I applied what God has been teaching me. Let me ask you a question. Have you been applying the truth that God has spoken to your heart from the book of James? For instance, do you count it all joy when you encounter various trials? Because you know, you know there's a bigger picture than the trial. You need to mark it down as joy. Empowered by his spirit, you need to ask him, God, give me a heart to mark down my trials, to count my trials as, as joy, because I know that what it will produce is what I need in my life. Do I ask God for wisdom? You know, we all need wisdom. We need godly wisdom. We need godly discernment in the day in which we live. Do I ask God to give me his wisdom so I can take it and live it out in everyday living? What about trials and temptation? Am I able to recognize the difference? That a temptation is to make me fail. A trial is to test me, to prove me, and to show me where I am in my relationship with the Lord. Am I, am I eager to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger? Or do I want to talk all the time? Am I a good listener? Am I training myself to listen and to hear the voice of God? I thought about some other things that I often ask myself. Am I doing this? Am I allowing Lord to do His work, the Lord to do His work in my life? And am, am I living this stuff out? Am I allowing Him to empower me to love, to love Jesus and to love people? To live by faith and not, and not by sight. As Proverbs 3 says, do I really trust in the Lord? Do I not lean on my understanding, but on His? Do I, is my life acknowledging Him? And am, am I walking on the path that he has for me? Do I spend time in the word? I know the importance of the word of God. I know what God says in his word. I need to spend time in the word. It is the inerrant, infallible truth of God. It's God breathed and God will use it in my life if I get in it. Am I being obedient to the word of God? Am I spending time in it? And am I taking it and applying it to my life? What about submission to God's authority? Am I living under the authority of God? Do I do all things for his honor and for his glory and for his namesake? Or am I just doing life and asking God to bless it? You know, this is just a short video, just a quick word on being doers of the word. Let's not just be hearers of the word, but let's take God's word, apply it to our everyday life, and let's live it out. Empowered by his presence, may we be doers of the word of God, and may it be noticeable in our lives so that other people see the difference that God makes in plain, ordinary people's lives when we choose to obey his word. Let's go be doers of the Word of God, not just people that hear the Word of God. Have a blessed day. Let Jesus be Jesus in you today. Thank you so much for watching Completing Christ as we strive to teach you about the Christ life. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and may you have a blessed day walking with Jesus.